Hi everybody, I'm Lisa. Behind the camera is Bill. Together we are Bill Lisa. Welcome to our channel and welcome to season two. We are blasting off to infinity and beyond and we don't want you to miss a minute of the fun. So make sure you click that subscribe button down below. It's totally free. It doesn't cost you anything. So go click it right now. Do you ever have one of those days where you just don't feel 100% like going to Disneyland, but you really don't feel like working either? Well, today is one of those days. So we're gonna head out in our camper van. We don't know exactly where it's gonna take us, but we're gonna bring you along for the adventure. And as soon as we get wherever it is that we end up, we're gonna give you a tour of the inside of our van for those of you that are new to our channel and haven't seen it before. Belisa. Here we go! Lord help us. First stop, we've decided to drive through Taco Bell. Hope we fit. <laughs> Don't ring your bell on this. <laughs> ding, 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 ding. <gasps> the antenna hit. Hi, how are you? Good, how are you? Great, thanks for asking. What can I get started for you? I would like one cheese quesadilla with no jalapeno sauce, a side of guacamole, and three regular tacos, please. Crunchy. We've decided to make another stop on our journey. We are heading into the Red Box because the new Maleficent movie is out on DVD and we're gonna rent it so that we can watch it today. Come on. Here it comes, we're waiting for our movie. We went online and we reserved it ahead of time because we wanted to make sure that someone didn't get here and get it before us. Maleficent. All right, let's go. That's how close that overpass was. It hit the antenna. Lunch and a movie. Is that what's going to happen? Yeah.
Restrooms are now locked, huh? You're having trouble. Yeah, we have keypads. There's um, been some unwanted visitors. Okay. Thank you. It has been a couple of months since we've been here. Thanks so Great much. Thank, Thank you. you. We've made it to our campsite. This is our Ram 2500 Promaster high top van that we have converted into a camper. One of the really cool things that we have done is, this is our sliding side door and we have put in a screen door and this will keep the bugs out when we wanna have this slider open to get some air. But it's really cool because it has this opening here that works like a little bit of a door that is magnetic. And part of the thing that's really cool about that is that we can keep this open as well and it magnetizes to this side of the van. Come on back here. In order to put our bed in, we have built these boxes that are really cool because they're really sturdy to hold our bed up, but they are also storage containers. So they have latches on them so that they stay closed and inside is where we can keep our toys and our fun things that we wanna have available when we are out camping and out for the day. And we also have room in there to store our solar panels and different things that we may need to bring along with us if we wanna bring like a tent or an easy up. That is a really great place for that. But we also have this amazing space available under the bed where we can bring things along like chairs and things as well. We made sure when we were buying the van, we wanted to be able to have at least a full size bed in here so that we could both sleep comfortably. And we wanted to make sure that the length this direction was going to be wide enough and it fits just perfectly. All right, let's go back around to this side. So we put this flooring in. It's actually a flooring that we got at Lowe's and we found a flooring at a really, really great price. And it's really pretty. It turned out really nice. It's a tongue and groove, so it was really easy to put in. And then we just nailed it in a couple of places to hold it in place. We got this couch at Walmart. We actually ordered it online and had it come because it fit just perfectly between our bed, our little storage unit that I'll get to in a minute, and the front of the van, which makes it nice so that we have a place that we can sit and relax. It's a great place to sit and look outside the van as well. We also put in these curtains. These are blackout curtains so that we can close them up when we're sleeping in here. They Velcro together. And then nobody even knows that we're in here when we're parked. But during the day, we can slide them back because we have them on this railing and tuck them back to get some light in. Up above here is really nice because we have storage. So this is where we store our towels, toiletries, things like that. And we put this pretty little ribbon up just to give it a touch of Disney. On the walls, we have plywood that we have covered with fabric. So the benefit to this is behind the plywood is some more insulation. So that helps to keep it from getting too hot or too cold in here during the winter and during the summer. And then we covered it, nailed it up to the wall, and it has made a really, really beautiful wall for us. The thing that's great about it is because it's plywood, we can now screw things into it like our mirror and our television which we have on a what do you call those things a bracket a bracket <laughs> so the bracket can be attached safely onto the plywood and then we can hang our tv from it this is one of the things though that we are the most proud of and that is the ceiling this ceiling was such an effort. We really had to think about what we wanted to do. We actually had to do it a couple of different times, but the final outcome is amazing. We actually took, what do you call those pieces? Two by fours? No, no. One, one by two fur one strips. One by two frame strips. Fur strips, but that's okay. Fur <laughs> and made a frame. Yes. And made a frame. Bill screwed them up. You can tell who did this. Into the metal pieces. <laughs> 
I was just the assistant in this part and mostly just the cheerleader. No, tell them what you did. Oh yeah, I'll get to that in a minute. But then that <laughs> gave us a way to screw these boards up here and give it such a nice finished look. But what I did... I'll come around back. Okay. is I put in this really cool vent. And this is really, really great. She did, she cut the hole in I the did. top of the van. I got up on top of the van with a saw and I sawed a hole in the top of our van. And it was the perfect yeah. size, measured, cut, it turned out perfectly. So now onto our storage unit. Our storage unit actually holds our inverter for our batteries so that we can use our electronics out here. So we have charged up some batteries and this inverter is going to hook up to our battery so that we can run a DVD player and a TV out here. All right, so red first, black second. Okay. <laughs> Put it over there you go she right. did it without blowing us up and i'm going to turn it on <laughs> and i already heard our tv there's the light it has power and it's coming on and i'm going to put our movie in Oh my gosh, look what's behind me. Oh well, hi, they're having a meeting. They all want my tacos. Well, hi everybody. nicely this was a perfect little cabinet that we found to fit in here it's all really really great so we're very happy with what we've done with our van it turned out really nice and we really enjoy using it now let's watch a movie what it works What will they think of next? All right, so that is our van. I hope you enjoyed the tour. We are now gonna relax, watch our movie, and eat our lunch.